2024 Porsche Macan. This is the A new Porsche Macan. It's the most exciting SUV Porsche has ever made. It has much more power than any previous Macan. It's packed with new technology, and it's full of clues that show what other high-performance cars from Porsche will be like in the future. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this new car. Let's get started. 2024 Porsche Macan. If mid-century soothsayers really had a line on the future, talk about a flying car. The Macan looks like a June bug, especially the GTS in Python Green, but it zings and zips like a hummingbird. From the four-cylinder base, Macan to the snorty six-jug GTS, Porsche's small SUV makes good on the badge's sports car promise, just with more space and height. The new Porsche Macan looks very different from the old model. Just have a look at this front end. The old car had a huge black grille and rounded headlights. This new model has a much lower, wider intake, and the lights look very similar to the ones you get on a Tian. Porsche hasn't changed much about the new car silhouette. It still looks pretty similar to the old Mon from the side, but you do get new alloy wheels to choose from, including 22 in rims. These look great. This new car is the heart of something huge because it premieres loads of new chassis motor and battery technologies Porsche calls this new combination the Premium Platform Electric for short called PPE. New Macan is compatible with 270 kilowatt DC fast chargers, and these can boost its batteries from 10% to 80% full in just 21 minutes. If you plan on charging your car at home, the Macan comes with a built-in 11 cow AC charger, the new Macan's wheelbase is 86 mm longer than the old cars, which means you get slightly more space to stretch out in the back seats. Porsche has also lowered these seats by 50 mm and the front seats have been dropped by 28 mm compared to the old cars, so it probably won't feel quite so lofty when you're driving it. Porsche Macan is one of only a handful that prove daring and exciting to drive. Despite its rather shed-like shape, the Macan and embodies plenty of Porsche sports car characteristics. The base Macan comes with a 261 horsepower turbocharged 2.0 liter inline four engine that generates a respectable amount of zip. Macan S gets a 375 horsepower twin turbo V6 that delivers a significant leap in performance, making it the second mightiest of the Macan line before deferring to the more furious 434 horsepower Macan GTS, which we review separately. The Macan's steering and ride make carving through challenging twisty roads as easy as slicing soft butter, thanks to a chassis designed for performance over cargo space. It's unmatched in terms of driving feel. Given the Macan's athletic character, we'd skip the base powertrain and go straight for the V6-powered S, which brings a meaningful bump in performance. Standard features include a 10.9-inch touchscreen infotainment system, a 10-speaker audio system, and LED headlights. We'd also splurge a little for the premium package for its heated front and rear seats, adaptive headlights, and an upgraded 14-speaker audio system. The Sport Chrono Pack has our attention too, for its driver-adjustable drive modes and launch control feature. Porsche Chi achieves greatness in the decidedly not great category of compact crossovers by placing the Macan's tall body on a chassis so lithe and responsive that one wonders whether the German manufacturer has discovered some secret alchemy to imbue steel and aluminum with the life force of Anne. Agility trained border collie. See? While the 261 horsepower turbo 2.0 liter 4 backed by the quick shifting 7 speed dual clutch automatic in the base Macan provides enough thrust to put the body through its paces, the real magic happens when the 434 horsepower twin turbo 2.9 liter V6 in the Macan GTS joins the mix. With a 60 miles per hour time of 3.5 seconds and the deft direction changes of a high dollar lawyer, the GTS can roar and whisk through the turns on a weekend joy ride or burble politely through an afternoon of errands. No future is perfect, and the Macan's minimalist dash and console didn't win over all reviewers, even with its standard 10.9 inch infotainment screen and 10 speaker stereo. But the Porsche isn't on this list as a budget buy. For those who pony up for the Premium Plus package, leather upholstery, and Sport Chrono add-on, the cabin becomes several steps more luxurious. As a pure workhorse, the Macan can't compete on cargo space and rear legroom, but no other SUV of this size offers such a temptation to take the long way to your destination. Temptation always has its cost. 
and the Macan starts at $62,550, with the price for a well-optioned GTS easily topping six digits. Still, to paraphrase senior editor Ezra Dyer's notes from the logbooks, some small things are worth big prices. With the base turbo four-cylinder, the Macan bounds to 60 miles per hour in just 5.0 seconds. It feels sprightly around town, but speed freaks will want to upgrade to the twin-turbo V6-powered S model. At our test track, the Macan S was only a few seconds behind the more powerful GTS with a 3.8-second 60 miles per hour time. The Macan S is significantly quicker than the times posted by the Audi S Q5 and Jaguar F Pace S. An SUV probably doesn't need to launch off the line as quickly as that, but we sure appreciate it. Quickness is important in a crossover with sporting intentions, but we wouldn't be nearly as impressed with the Macan if it weren't for its all-around competence on the road. It feels remarkably like a sports sedan. The ride is wonderfully smooth and carefully controlled, and it's rare for a jolt from the pavement to make itself known to the driver. The steering is a tad lighter than it is in Porsche sports cars, but it's still micrometer accurate and pleasantly tactile. Well, Porsche's the standard Mon 4 will accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds, which is pretty quick for an electric SUV, and is about the same time that they quoted for my own Porsche 9 11996 Carrera 3.4 back in 1999. However, when we come to the turbo model, things take A. Step up that car, according to Porsche, will do N to 60 in 3.3 seconds, and that's a whole second quicker than the claim N to 60 miles per hour time for the old Macan GTS, and it's 0.2 of a second quicker than a Mercedes AMG E-Way SUV 53 can do the sprint in it also happens to be exactly the same N to 60 time that Tesla claims for the model wide performance. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. I'm sure Porsche has been comparing its new car with Tesla's range topping Model Y in some secret in-house test. Given the Macan's athletic character, the standard features include a 10.9-inch touchscreen infotainment system, a 10-speaker audio system, and LED headlights. We'd also splurge a little for the premium package for its heated front and rear seats, adaptive headlights, and an upgraded 14-speaker audio system. The Sport Chrono Pack has our attention too, for its driver-adjustable drive modes and launch control feature. The most efficient Macan, according to the EPA, is the base model with the turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder, which is rated for 19 mpg city and 25 mpg highway. The Macan S, which is powered by the twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6, is rated for 17 mpg city and 23 mpg G and 23 mpg highway. On our 75 real-world highway fuel economy loop, the Macan S averaged 26 miles per hour, bettering its highway figure by 3 mpg. Generous throughout the UK lineup as well, if you found this information valuable, don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and share it with others who might benefit. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it helps us continue to bring you informative and engaging content thank you for being part of our community and stay tuned for more updates